Hey guys, I'm Roxanne Speed with Enjoying Life Supernaturally. This is the word the Lord has to say to you today, your Lord. The Lord says this is your word. If you're watching this, then this word is specifically for you. Do not doubt and say, is this for someone else? No, the Lord says I've captivated your attention right now. So heed my words that it may go well with you, that your burden will be light, that your yoke, your easy burden, yoke is easy, yoke is light. So hear the word of the Lord. The Father says that as I am expanding your territory, as I am expanding what you do, your life, your family, relationships, your career path, your ministry path, the Lord says this is what I need you to do. The Father says, be the blessing that I've called you to be. Did I not say in my word that if someone is hungry, feed them. If they're thirsty, give them something to drink. The Father says we have lost track of that. We are relational. The Father says there's me, Jesus Christ, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We are relational. We are three in one. The Father says do not toil long with this word. Give unto people. If someone is hungry, you go and feed them. You stop what you're doing. Like the story of the Good Samaritan, the father said. Many, the priest passed this guy up that was laying on the ground broken and beat up. He had to go to a conference. He had to go to work. The father says, and someone else passed him up. But here comes the nobody, the Good Samaritan. He sees in need and he meets it. The Father says that if you would but meet needs for my people, I will make straight your paths. I will bless you in abundance because what you do for one of these, you have done for me. The Father says, I'm pleased with you for you have engaged my people in love and admiration. But know that the things you're suffering, your trials and tribulations are to bring about a compassion to say, oh, I've been there. This is what it feels like. I want to help you. That's how Christ says he was moved with compassion to feed the multitudes. He was moved with compassion to heal the sick. He says, I always, I always wasn't in the mood. The Lord says, I wasn't always in the mood to do these things. I was mere flesh as well. I was a hundred percent God, but my body was tired as so is yours. My mind was going a million miles an hour as so is yours, but you have the mind of Christ. You have my intentions and my purposes. It is time to get back to the basics. The Lord says to you, stop being so busy. Stop conforming to the ways of this world, the patterns of society how they preach a message. They claim to be godly. They claim to know me, but there is no power. They deny the power thereof. They don't walk in the spirit. They don't develop the fruit of the Holy Ghost. The Father says today, I'm sending a wave, a rain that's a true power over you to, to circle you, to saturate and permeate you every area of your life. The Lord says, but hear these words of mine as I say them again. Do for others what you want done for you. It's the golden rule. We have lost sight of this. The Lord says, if you would but help my people, if you would but help my people, I will bring you a refreshing. I will open the windows of heaven and pour out on you, which you don't have room enough to receive. For I'm God of everything. You live and you move and you have your being in and through me. Think on that. Selah, pause. What does that mean to you? The Father says, I'm breaking barriers for you. I'm bringing down strongholds in your life, in your mind, in your finances. Your future is being set up. I have prepared a place for you. You're going, you're stepping into your destiny, your calling, your assignment with your gifts intact as your wings. The father says, but you must do this in the meantime. Do not say to a brother or sister that is asking for food now, asking for shelter now, asking for gas now, anything that may come your way. Do not say, I'll pray for you and bless you. The church has done this and they've lost sight of my purposes. My heart's intention were people helping people. That is me. That is God. I am love. The Father says, you meet the need now. You do what rises the occasion now. Do not wonder if they are, are worthy of it. The Father says, are you worthy of what I've given unto you? Help one of these little people receive a prophet and the word of prophecy and instruction, and you will receive the reward of a prophet. The Father says, hear this.
This is a time of prophetic activation. This is a time where I'm opening your eyes. I'm opening your ears. I'm making your heart inclined to me. You don't have to fight for this. You just have to focus and obey me because your obedience is producing blessings. I am giving you the keys to the kingdom now. The car will start. The marriage will work. That door of opportunity, that promotion is going to open. That physical healing is going to manifest. The Lord says there is unforgiveness. There is a bitter root trying to take hold, but I tell you, because I love you, I tell you so we can get this thing out of you and we can move forward so that you can expand and enlarge your tents, your heart, your borders, what you do and who you help. I've made you a leader. I've made you a trailblazer. I've made you the one that spearheads this. Don't stay quiet now. Speak what I put in your heart. Develop the blueprint of your life. Build with me. Plan with me, says the Lord. I have you. I've equipped you, as I've said many a times. You're ready. You're ready to go into your next season. You're ready to begin the task I have created you for. Watch for your purpose. What comes easy to you? What do you desire? What gets you passionate? The father says, what do you do with ease that other people notice? There's a receptivity. Go forth in that. I speak to you as my friends, not as servants anymore. The Lord says, I'm revealing my mysteries to you because you sought me out. You've cried out to me. You have sought me while I may be found. You've been good to my people. You've blessed one another, but enlarge it. If you give 10, give a hundred. If you give one meal, give 10 meals. You cannot outgive me the Lord God almighty for I am the Lord. I am increasing your favor. I am increasing your favor. I am increasing your favor. My favor will surround you like a shield. It is going before you. It is behind you. And it is on every side of you. You can't get out of it. My goodness and my mercy have you held and carried. You have extended kindness. You have extended love and patience and long suffering. I will reward you, says the Father. I am crowning you for a beauty. I am giving you beauty in the place of ashes. I am giving you oil in the place of dryness. You will shine bright. Hear these words of mine. I have made you the head and not the tail. I have made you above and not beneath you. You are blessed in the city. You're blessed in the field. You're blessed in the fruit of your body and the increase in your labor. Everything that you put your hands to will prosper because you're walking in my spirit. You're forgetting the ways of the world. You're going back to the basics. You, you have longed for this, longed for simplicity, longed to commune with me as Adam and Eve walked in the cool of the day and I communed with them. You hear my voice and another you will not follow because you are my sheep. I have prepared the way for you. I have your destiny, your calling, your purpose, and your gifts all set before you. Walk in, step in. Be like David. When you go to battle, don't wear somebody else's armor. Say, this is uncomfortable. I got to get in mine. I got to get in what works for me. The father said, I've made you for a purpose in this earth. I clocked you in at the time I did. I know the very hairs on your head. I have purpose for you. There is meaning behind everything you suffered. Everything you're suffering now is for the good of you. And I'll turn it around and make all things good because you love me. Because you are called according to my purpose. Yes, your salvation is intact. Yes, you are being sanctified. You are growing in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. You have been crucified with me, Jesus said. Now you are learning to walk in the power of my resurrection. I've called you. I chose you. I pulled you out of the darkness into the marvelous light. Why? To declare forth my praises. But for you to declare forth my glory and my praises, I have to do for you. I'm going to give you good things. I'm going to surprise you. I'm going to shower you. Remember every good gift comes from the father above. Mm. The father says, you are good with me. You are in right standing with me. You are linked with me. You abide with me. You breathe with me. Your heart beats with me. It doesn't matter what you feel. Your feelings may change from minute to minute, hour to hour, day by day. But you know that I am goodness. You know that I am loving. My mercy reaches to the ends of the world. I climbed into hell to snatch you out. 
What will I not do for you, says the Lord? Stop looking for me to bless the thing and say, Lord, what is you already blessed? What is it that you have already blessed in my life that I need to grab hold of? These are the small details. These are the guiding and the leading in between you going from glory to glory, faith to faith, one assignment to the next, one level of anointing, one level of mantle. I have mantled you anew today. I have given you increase in your giftings. Your calling is becoming clear to you. Watch for me. Watch for the signs and the wonders and the miracles that I, the Lord God Almighty, perform in your midst so that you will go and glorify me. You will be like the woman at the well. I have met the Messiah. This is the man who told me all that I have done. He is here. See him. You will bring in my fish. You will clean my fish. You will make my bride ready. For my return, because I will rule and reign on the earth for a thousand years, and so shall you with me, says the Lord God Almighty. Through the power of his Holy Spirit, he has implemented the plan of God for your life, for your life. This word is for you. Mm. All right, you guys, I stop when he stops. So please, if you haven't signed up or reserved your spot in the prophetic ministry session, please do so. It's powerful. The word of the Lord is coming forth with accuracy and detail. He is healing, delivering, setting free. There are signs, wonders, and miracles. Everybody loves it. They're blown away. I'm blown away at the power and the goodness of the Holy Spirit of God working in these sessions. So sign up today. It's reasonable, you guys. Nobody else is doing this. Get this while it's available. All right, you guys, email me. It's in the description. If you have not subscribed to this channel, but it blessed you, it did something for you, it moved you, hit subscribe. It matters, guys. We got to reach far and wide for the people of this nation, for your brothers and sisters. People need the word of God just like you do. They're broken. They're in bondage. They're dying. Care, you guys. Be moved with compassion. Hit the like button. It takes one second. You are saving a soul. You are doing the work of the ministry, says the Father. All right, you guys, share, share, share this message. Again, it takes a second. Help me reach this nation. We got to bring the oil of healing. Amen. All right, guys, if you feel led to give into this ministry, to sow into this prophetic anointing, to put your faith in action that you may receive back and do what you're called to do, please do so so I can keep reaching the nation. All right, you guys, that information is in the description as well. I love you. Keep commenting. Keep doing the work of the ministry. Keep answering people. Keep loving them. Keep blessing them because you are increased when you do this and you are being obedient. You are a servant, a child of God, and you love the Lord. All right, I'm done now. I love you guys. Take care. I'll see you next time.